The International Securities Exchange's all-electronic platform launched a revolution in options trading. Now, ISE Alternative Markets introduces a new revolution, the Longitude Auction Platform, which enables trading of previously untradable risks. This platform allows customers to trade options that do not have a tradable underlying supply. This auction format provides transparent pricing and automatic price improvement. Markets such as real estate, economic statistics and weather do not have a tradable underlying supply or a mechanism to price and manage risk. The Longitude Auction Platform solves these problems. Let's look at a simplified example. Insurance companies would like to hedge against property claims resulting from hurricane damage. A contract that pays out if a hurricane makes landfall on a particular state could be used to hedge this risk. In this example, an auction is held before hurricane season that offers these contracts on each coastal state. A market maker invests $1,000 on each state before the auction opens to set the initial auction prices. The price for a contract on a particular state is the amount of money on that state divided by the total amount of money on all states. An insurance company buys $5,000 of coverage on South Carolina. This increases the price of each South Carolina contract and decreases the price of all the other state contracts. Notice that as contracts on other states are purchased, the contract price for South Carolina is updated. Prices for all contracts will continue to change until the auction is over. When the auction closes, no more orders are accepted and prices are fixed. The final price for South Carolina is 20 cents. In this example, the hurricane makes landfall in South Carolina. For every 20 cents the insurance company invested in South Carolina, they receive $1 in payout. The auction is self-funded. The losing contracts completely fund the winning contracts. The relative premium in each state is shown in this bar graph. This is the auction pricing distribution, which provides a clear and direct view of the market's expectation of each outcome. The example we've just shown demonstrates paramutual trading in a very simple context. The Longitude Auction Platform supports standard option contracts with limit prices. To show this in action, We'll demonstrate a derivatives market on an economic statistic, in particular the June non-farm payroll announcement. The initial auction prices show a normal distribution around an expected outcome. Call and put options are offered on a set of strikes chosen based on economists' forecasts. This machine represents the Longitude Auction Platform. We will show how three different trading strategies interact and provide liquidity for each other. These terminals are used to enter trades. Trader A believes the non-farm payroll number will be above 175,000 jobs. He enters binary calls struck at 175. The sliders on the terminal represent the requested payout at every outcome. The dial on the left shows the current price for the requested option, $16 in this case. Trader A sets the maximum price he is willing to pay, $25. He requests 5,000 contracts using the slider above the quantity dial. He enters the order, and the machine determines how much of this order can be filled without exceeding the limit price. The premium from this order increases the prices above the 175 strike, as you can see from the change in the distribution. The machine updates Trader A's price and fill quantity. Based on the liquidity in the auction, the machine could only fill Trader A for 230 contracts at his limit price. Additional orders in the auction can change the price and fill for Trader A's order. For example, Trader B enters an order to buy the 175 put, hedging against a decline in payrolls. She specifies 10,000 of these options with a limit price of $66. She enters the order, which interacts with Trader A's order, to produce a new pricing distribution. The put order has supplied liquidity for the binary call, increasing Trader A's fill. In turn, the binary call provides liquidity for Trader B, allowing the machine to partially fill the put order at its limit price. 
A third trader believes that the NFP number will be close to 150,000. His strategy is to sell volatility by selling the 150 straddle. Since this is a sell order, the limit price is the lowest price he will accept. He enters the order, which interacts with the previous orders. All orders are fully filled and the call and straddle orders have received price improvement. These three orders provide liquidity for each other. At the close of the auction, all prices and filled quantities are binding. Traders A and B pay premium for their filled contracts, and Trader C receives premium from his sale. Daily auctions are held during the NFP announcement week, with each auction producing different closing prices. Positions opened in one auction can be closed in a later auction. All the auctions are settled when the NFP number is announced. Since each auction is paramutual, in-the-money positions are completely funded by out-of-the-money positions, no matter what the outcome. This patented paramutual mechanism creates liquid markets where none could have existed before. You've seen how customer orders with different strikes and option types provide liquidity for each other. In the past, the lack of an underlying cash market has prevented trading risks such as weather, economic derivatives, and commercial real estate. ISE Alternative Markets employs the Longitude platform to provide liquidity and price transparency to enable new markets for new risks.